quarter. Started with a punt. Boy, I tell you what now. This drive of theirs is going to be about 98 yards. Yeah, this, this is a this is a backbone killer. I mean, this could. Well, you know, it hats off to Alma. I mean, you take it and go 98 yards. I mean, you've done something. Mm-hmm. But we made him snap the ball over and over again. That's a pretty good hit right there. But he pops it out there for about five. We're trying to stack it up inside. There's what he can do. I would have hang on, Corey Gelvin. You've got to attack this guy. Shut down those those cutback lanes. That's when he's really scary. Is when he, you know, if you're away from him, just stay alert because yeah, he's, he's going to come back. back. He he's likes to back. cut back across the ground. Now, this big old fella right here, 46. That's 240 pounds. Yeah, the the program lists him at 225, and uh, I've said he don't. If he's 225, that's he's uh, a big 225. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, we had him right there at the line of scrimmage, mm-hmm. and and he breaks out. But you know, we're we're making him snap it again. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that's what we got to do with anybody. Look at this play. There you go. Hang on to him. He's cutting Come right back. Him. There you go. Look at him. When he looks at you and you freeze, that's when he's got you. Mm. You know, because he's really not free. He's suspended in motion. Good play here by there, Mitchell. Mitchell. Nice job. They move into our territory. It's an excellent drive by the Airedales. Hang on, Trey. Nice hit, Norman. That a boy. He is a pure athlete. Oh, he court. is. You know, he's a great basketball player. Uh, he can do whatever he mm-hmm. wants to do. This is when I was concerned because this is 6'3", 225 pounds, right at you, over 700 pounds. And our little old guys, I thought they stood up. This is a very nice play right mm-hmm. here. You know, this is going to bring up at third and 12 that we talked about. I think this is it. That's a great play. Here's the quarterback. Well, no, he dro- here's going to bring up third and 12, 12 now. Here. Yeah, he drops the ball on the bubble, so it's third and 12. This is get off the field down right, right here. They're going to have to punt. And uh, we lose contain over here. We, we, we got him right there, but we lose contain on this side. If we'd had contain on this side, and then we, we don't make the tackle, and then they're going to run it down here about the two-yard line. We had it, we had it, we had it. And we let it slip away. And the bad, the really one of the bad things, and I, I don't know what time it is in the game right now, McCoy into the end zone, but uh, uh, about midway through. Yeah, we're 6.36 to play. In the- 6.36, so we played 18 minutes or 15 and a half minutes of excellent football mm-hmm. and had a chance to get them off the field. But now what we got to do, and this is where we show our immaturity a little bit, that's open. That's over. We've got 636, and we need to be looking at that as we have 636 for us to score. Right. You know, go tie this thing up. And he's going to kick it out of bounds. Now, he starts kicking it good because he got too much practice at it. <laughs> but we're going to come off with a uh, what we call a read play up inside. We get a nice play here. We get a holding penalty. And I, you know, it doesn't matter what I think, but, uh, boy, we couldn't find it, you know. And uh, that goes from second one now yeah. to we 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 tried to find here. The only thing we could assess is sixty three had his hands up. Well, he had his hands up, but I mean, it, as long as he did, he didn't have another face mask mm-hmm. or anything. So you know, it's questionable. But that's kind of what happens to uh, you know the winning team always says you know uh, uh, you know they're they're kind of want to stay at the table, and the losing team wants to get uh, get on the bus. You know, and now we have fueled their fire. And we got to get this thing. Somebody, we got to have somebody make a play right now. And they're swarming. Green smelling blood right now. And now we're all the way. We were at the 35 yard line, and we ran up to the 45 yard line, and we're going to punt the football from our own 10 yard line. It's uh, it's like third and 28 at this point. Right. Come back with a screen pass, but they're there. You know, 14's all over. Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of it's kind of tough on what to call on on that uh, kind of down and distance. Well, we get a great punt. Yeah, it's uh, hits on the ground, gets yeah. a good roll. I think it ends up being about a sixty yarder when yeah. it was all out said of bounds and done. at about the forty yard line. So we got a good punt. You know, go out there. And let's uh, let's go back to what we were doing. Hold them. There's big thirty four, 
And we bottle him up, no game. Second and ten. Great job, goblins. Swarm tackle. Oh, I love to see him getting after it. Your big Brandon Davis in there at nose guard. This mm. is a little tough on the, I'm telling you. That guy can get it. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what colleges are looking at him. I've called a couple myself and told them, I said, I don't know why you're not looking at him. Maybe there's something about him that I don't know. But as far as an athlete and a playmaker, he is one. And I'm not sure what his best position is. Running back, wide receiver, defensive back. He can do it all. And he only played, uh, they took him out midway through the third quarter. and, and uh... This is the one thing we did in the ball game, Lauren, right there, that was we lined up wrong. And you hate to get beat by alignment. And, uh, you know, that's just poor coaching on my part. Uh, they found it, good execution, and, and they found it. Uh, like I say, 6'3", six, six, 220 coming right at you. Takes, you know, we talked about courage. That's courage to throw your body in front of that cat now, I'm telling you. We just, we're circling the troops up over there, and, and uh, here he is again, and uh, he's uh, moving the pile. And underneath there is 700, 700 more pounds of yes. Airedale. That's a, those are big, large dogs. Got him right there, and we don't get him. And then yeah. he's got you. Once he makes you stop, he's got you. Yeah, we didn't see There it is. There it is. Uh, you know, and I talked about that yeah. uh, on the show, and, they, and his, yeah. the umpire – had his back to it. He didn't he did. see it. And, uh, but it was a pure, just, and, and I figured that's what you were going berserk about. It when was. You saw that. It was. And I uh, saw it clear across the field. Yeah. And we saw it up in the booth and, um, and I went into the radio guys and they didn't see it. And I said, well, I said, there, the Alma guy took a slug at Corey Galvin. Yeah. And took a good one. I mm -hmm. mean, he landed it and, uh, boy, don't think Corey Galvin can't take a punch. Yeah. You know, a uh, pretty tough kid. And Corey did the right thing. And, and not uh, reacting back to it. and uh, But I was on this side judge here during the football game, unmerciful about that call. Yeah. Uh, and also, I think we'll see one here a little later, that, oh, man, that's a nice play by the defensive back. And this gives them we – we just didn't need to turn the ball over right there. No. Uh, and go down 21 at the half. But we do. And that's just the way it is sometimes. But So this fellow, I'm on him unmerciful. Because I think he's seen the play. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I'm telling the guy on our sideline, hey, you know, surely if I saw it, you saw it. Yeah. And he said, and he gives me that old thing of, well, it's not my call. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't, you know, uh, don't give me that one. Right. You know, uh, if you saw it, it's your call. Yes. And, but we come back on Sunday, as we always do, and watch the tape, and I was wrong. The guy had his head turned. He couldn't have seen it. Now, I do question where the white hat was why he was not following the play. Right. I looked at – I saw the sign judge there at the pylon when they when he had scored. His back was to it. He didn't His back see, was to it. Yeah, he did not see it. And I – because that's what I said because we made a reference to it during the game. And it and and I said, that's what's got Coach Tice you – know, we saw it. Yeah. Is, well, it was just, is, you know. But, hey, I called him on Sunday and apologized to him. I was wrong. Uh, he couldn't have seen it. Uh, well, I wished he had of, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, right now we suffered a pass interception, and now we have, boy, we've inflicted some wounds on our own. Nothing there. Got to get back to one play at a time, one yard at a time. And that's what we're, we're talking about up in the booth. You know, you're looking for positives. Sustain the drive, you know, put, you know, move the chains, Start to make some small progress to make yourself feel good, right? And uh, you know, bring back some of the confidence that had been been taken out of you. Well, and you know, unfortunately, uh, when you're in, and we got to make that play right there. That's a good job. I'll hope the other boy. But when you uh, when you've been on the road and things have happened to you like that, unfortunately, that you know, doubt settles in. Mm -hmm. uh, not so much in my mind. And my job is to take the doubt out. And I didn't get it done. Uh, well, they got a holding penalty, which was nice on yeah, me. Well, I hope he made yeah. a great – hope he played the best game mm -hmm. he's played. They got a holding penalty on that punt, which mm -hmm. dropped them back because uh, they did have – they were starting their field position in nice our – Nice play here but John. You know, their passing game wasn't much. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you could get it to McCoy, 
Yeah, yeah. that certainly makes you a great passing team. I think our statistics had him racking up about 440 yards well, of them, offense. That's the catch he makes all night. Yeah, 300 of it, 300 plus of it was on the ground. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and he had 170 of it himself. Mm, he's a great player. You got the rushing three down the middle. Good cover. Go deep in the corner, nice play here. Now they that was an interesting play. They trips to the right, him single side on the left, and they and were double covered on that side, and you and he didn't even look to the other side. No, I tell you, you know, and they're not going to. Yeah. That's just hopefully <laughs> that you you know that you're not very smart and that you'll line up over there with them. The, the playmaker is still and this is the upright. The playmaker is still over there on yeah. that side. You better be worried about the yeah, playmaker. And, and that's and that's kind of what you watched him. You know, that was just a pure decoy to see if he could get some of the off the defense to uh, to fall for the three guys on the other side. Still had double coverage on him on that. Oh yeah, he, you know he's capable of whipping double coverage. Yes, yes. You know he's. Uh, I, I won't cry at graduation when that guy's <laughs> gone. I don't think anybody around the league will. I mean, it's time for him to go. Yeah. It, well, you face two of the the best backs. You got Hunter Winston out of the way, and you've got. Those guys. Uh, Isaac McCoy out of the way, and so we'll move on. Well, Coach, we're going to take a short break. We come back, we'll, uh, we'll look at the highlights of the second half. 